Hi everyone, Pridhibaya from TGT and welcome to another video. iPhone battery charging is always a topic of discussion among users. Some prefer to charge it as fast as possible, while some prefer to charge it to 100% every time they can. In this video, I am going to discuss why always charging your iPhone battery to 100% is not good for the overall battery health. The lithium-ion batteries used in iPhones degrades over time like all other rechargeable batteries with every single battery cycle. Theoretically, a battery cycle means charging your iPhone from 0% to 100% and then discharging it back to 0%. But in real life condition, charging your iPhone from around 10% battery life to 100% and then again discharging it back to around 10% causes the same effect. Such deep charging and discharging puts pressure on the lithium-ion battery and degrades the battery health. A degraded battery not only provides reduced battery life but also responsible for stuttering iOS UI performance, overheating of your iPhone or unexpected shutdown while opening some heavy apps. Apple tried to counter such charging cycle issues by implementing low power mode where your iPhone reduces its overall background activity while the battery life drops below 20% mark. Also to stop overcharging Apple introduced optimized battery charging where your iPhone learns from your charging routine and holds the maximum charging at 80% for a longer period of time. Also if you are using this massive battery pack. Once it starts charging, if you go to the low power mode option, you'll see there is an option not to charge past 90% even if the battery pack is capable of doing so. Of course you can turn it off from here but it is advisable not to. Taking into consideration all these settings provided by Apple, not charging to 100% all the time might be an important factor for the good battery health of your iPhone. Theoretically, operating your iPhone from around 40% to 80% charging level provides the optimum performance and keeps the battery healthy for a longer period of time. I know it is difficult to follow as Apple doesn't provide any direct option to permanently stop charging at 80% but you can always alter your charging routine to follow this battery charge capacity as closely as possible. Also, if you are charging your iPhone overnight, it is advisable to use a slow charger instead of a faster one. If you want to know more about how to maintain good battery health over time, you can watch this video. Do like, share and please don't forget to subscribe to DGT. I will see you in my next one. Peace.